look nervous. This could be quite a pleasant experience, you know. You like a cigarette, wouldn't you? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anybody. But murder, extortion, these are just some of the unfortunate byproducts of our profession. This favour needs to be done by Thursday. Come on, you guys. You're not supposed to be at Ma. You gotta be in your chair. You're not that frail, Mommy, are you? She's not that frail. Mommy. She just got out of surgery. She is that frail. Come on, Mom. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. You're fine? Thank you. For yeah, that. fine enough to dance with Prince Charming, but sick enough for me to do all the work, right, you two? Well, what's your excuse? Get the wine. Red or white? Well, do we ever drink white? The boss. I'm so glad we get to be together. Yeah, me too, Mom. And for you, sir. Thank you. Eh. What? She can have wine. Jeez. Antibiotics. I'll leave the bottle with you. Now watch you, Casanova. <laughs> hey, we say grace in this house. Manners. He's an animal, Ma. You want to say grace? Ma? <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah? This is Desmond Noel. Is this Desmond from Woodshop? Listen to me, you fucking cunt! You owe me $200,000. It should come as no surprise to you that if I don't get my money back by this Thursday, you'll be getting something a touch worse than this polite phone call. Well, send your boys over whenever you please, Desi. I won't stop you. You know I cherish our time together. And what about that charming old mother of yours? I suppose I could arrange for them to meet with her. Well, maybe you could save us all the trouble and come discuss it over a cup of Earl Grey. Listen, buddy, I'll be there when I get there. Treat your guests, as he. Well, it's nice when they remembered. I'd like to see an attempt at wit now. I have exercised patience to you to its fucking extremity to its fucking zenith. So how in fucking hell do you plan to repay me, huh? Answer me, you fucking snivelly twat! Oh, your mother taught you to never talk with your mouth full. Lovely. Now, sit down. I like you, Anthony. I've always treated you with respect, haven't I? Yeah, Desi, of course you have. I seem to remember a rather less smarmy version of you. 
sitting in that very chair a year ago, round nosing, asking for favours, don't I? Desi, if you just give me a little bit of time, I'm sure I can get I you the money. I sincerely doubt that I shall ever get my money back from you. I'm presented with two options. To kill you, your mother, your best friend, or you could do me a small favour. A trifle, really. In exchange for 200,000 wiped off the books. What do you think? Yeah, I'll do it. Jackie Swinton, I'm a savvy sort of character. You know the type. Jackie Swinton was in charge of selling some cocaine for me. Unfortunately, he got a little caught up in the stuff himself. I haven't seen him, my briefcase full of cocaine, or any of my money ever since. I want him dealt with by Thursday. Or all my idle threats will come to fruition. All of them. Be careful. Vinny, I'm in a lot of trouble, Vinny. Desi said he's gonna kill Ma. He's gonna kill her Ma, Vinny. I gotta kill Jackie, or I don't know why. I don't think you have a choice, mate. <laughs> You've robbed a lot of nerves, my friend. Oh, me. Oi! Remember that shite we support, that chubby bloke down the road? <laughs> Marshmallow Donny. <laughs> That time he broke into his mum's house and that bottle of whiskey, remember that? We all ran away, but his mom got him when he had the asthma attack. She beat him black and blue. She hit him with his inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to that poor bastard? I want you to take care of the certain thing for me, Vinny. Consider it done, mate. It's the least I can do. Ma. 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 